In this video, I made a tier list for YouTuber boxers. I rated them from the worst YouTuber boxers to the best YouTuber boxers. I started off with a simple template, and then boom! Look at this, what a beauty. Welcome back to the Nzingi channel for another daily video. In this video, we are going to be doing a tier list on YouTuber boxing. Now, 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 I know before we get started, there's going to be some controversy maybe in the comments if you're a true boxing fan or if you're just a YouTube fan, there's going to be some collisions. But this is all out of just entertainment purposes. Obviously, we've got the KSI versus Logan Paul 2 fight coming up. It's his perfect timing to make this video. There's a lot of boxers out there. There's a lot of YouTube boxers, a lot of semi-pro amateur boxers. We're going to be rating them from like the best so like the worst YouTube boxers, and it's not just any YouTubers, it's YouTubers that are, you know, actually are going to fight or have had a fight before. Before we get into this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you need, um, like at this point, do I need to even say subscribe? Like, I mentioned in my last video, if you, what's good if you're not hitting that subscribe button? If you enable that post notification bell as well, you'll be updated every single time I upload a video. Let's get it! On a real lane, gentlemen, this took me quite a long time. I'm not going to be honest, I put, uh, put a lot of graft, put a lot of hard work to actually make this. I actually made it from scratch myself, from the template. I got all the pictures of the YouTubers, the YouTube boxers anyway. Done a little Photoshop magic, made them the right size, and then put them in here. So, here we are. We have 20 YouTubers from all across the globe that are all fighters in their own rights. Alright, so here are the categories. First, we have God. That just means you're insane, you're just above any sort of level. You're just at the top, you're a king. Then we're moving down, we've got pro, so professional fighters, which are legally professional fighters, but also fighters if they're professionals. Then we're moving down, we have amateur, amateur fighters that, you know, have had a few amateur fights maybe, or fighters if they are amateur. Then we've got Just Stop and Just No. I did find it very difficult to how many layers I should do in this, how many categories, because obviously there's ones in between like amateur and just stop, because I feel like just stop is very hard, but we're going to have to be hard. Okay, for number one, we're going to go straight into this, Alex Wasabi, I've seen him here, he's right here. Um, we're going to put Alex Wasabi, now what we've seen of him, he had a fight with uh, Fuji 2, it was hardly a fight, I don't even know if it was staged or what, but let's, let's go in the accord that it was real, the fight. He can't fight, let's be honest. I mean, he. I wouldn't say it's just no, I'll just put just stop. Because uh, like, he, 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 he's a kid's channel. He just needs to be playing with slime and sorting out all the kids. That sounds weird. But you know, he's a kid's channel. He's not meant to be in this boxing game. He has the physique though, but obviously don't get twisted. Just because you have the physique and the build doesn't mean you're going to win a fight. I mean, look at Andrew Ruiz, for example. Next, we've got Deji. Now, Obviously, coming up to the last fight, uh, KSI and Logan Paul, the first fight, he was the lowest expect, ever had low expectations for him, me included, like, but he shocked all of us. And I'm sorry, but I'm, I think, I'm gonna ba base this on his last fight and his first fight, I'm gonna put amateur. I actually am, genuinely, because he's, he's, I can't put the same as Alex Asami, Jesus Christ. But he was very good, I mean, Jake Paul, even though Jake Paul, Fred Jake Paul got the TKO, he didn't knock him out clean on the floor. And he can take, he can take punches, and he also has that aggression, that like natural strength. Also, JJ and KSI, which we'll get onto further on in the video. But I feel like Deji, if he actually, if I, I did really wish he fought in this card, maybe Jake again rematch. I'd love to see that with other people. But with Deji, I feel like if he gets training, he can be a decent fighter. Like even though he's small, he's very like he can bop in and out. He's got that power, which you know is needed in boxing, like that punching power, the knockout power. But yeah, he fought well, he did impress all of us. All right, next we've got Jeff from David Dover's vlogs. We're just picking random ones here. Now, he's just, from, all I know about him is just from David Dover's vlogs. I mean, he probably has like a nice like, body, six pack or whatever, but in terms of fighting, I honestly do not know much about him at all. I mean, I watched David Dover, but I don't know anything about him and fighting. So for that reason, we're gonna put just no, because just no, why are you here? Like, just get off the list. I mean, I created the list, but he doesn't need to be here. Next we have Jay Swingler. Now Jay's an interesting one. Obviously he did lose to Nissan Gibb, but it's like, it wasn't obviously by knockout TKO or anything. But with Jay, he can take punches. Like we've seen in the videos, in TGF videos, obviously Jay from TGF. He can take punches, he can take pain. And it's hard, you know, I, it feels that I wish I could put him in between here, but I think for now, we might, we'll put him in amateur, but then he's not the same as, 
I'm gonna put. He didn't have that much training. I feel like with training, he could be decent. Nah, I, can't. I, I think I'm gonna have to put him in just stop. I'm sorry, I love you, Jay. Jay, I love you, but it's, I don't think you're you're ready for yeah for the for the amateur boxing matches. Maybe in time, but obviously we can rearrange everything at the end. But this this is just going on for now. Next we've got JMX. I want to put him just now, just as a person, I'm looking as a YouTuber. But JMX, he, he fought one hand in one of the fights because so he had injured shoulder, and he still won. He won two, he fought two fights, I believe. He had two fights. The second fight he had on the last card was on the KSI Logamon was his own coach, and he beat his own coach. I think I'm gonna put him amateur purely because it's a big fact that he, he's trained by Vidal Riley, and Vidal Riley trains KSI, JJ. He trained uh, Deji for uh, well, a little bit before Deji just fucked off somewhere. Trained at Nissan Gib, big fighter. Um, but yeah, actually, do you know what? We're gonna go big here. We're, we're gonna, I just said his name, and Nissan Gib. Before we put him anywhere, can we just say, everyone go tweet at Jake Paul, at Eddie Hearn, yeah, at Nissan Gib, and Matchroom Boxing, whatever it is, the zone. We need this fight Jake Paul versus Gib. Big Gibbo is going to come through and do madness for the UK. He's going to bring in the viewing figures, right? Because I know there's been, I've been watching all the interviews and podcasts. He will bring in them, them figures. Like, there's still, it's not like he has no fans. There's people that want him to fight from the UK and will not tune in or watch if he doesn't. He had a lot of fights. Gib is so, so underrated. Like, forget about his shape. His, his transformation is actually inspiring. Now, I'm, I'm so, I wish I could put him here. And I, do you know what? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think he fights very wild and like it almost looks from a natural, from a normal person like not, oh, he doesn't know how to box. But he's very like unpredictable. Like he just, he swings and stuff. But he's still got that boxing technique though. He still knows what he's doing. He's still clever. And he's got so much energy. <sighs> I feel I'm going to put, I'm going to put him in pro for now. I'm going to put him in pro. That's, that's a very, that's a very, ooh. That's a controversial topic. Next, we're gonna go for we're gonna go for we're going for Jake Paul because he's fighting Jake Paul. I think because he's a pro boxer, I'm gonna have to put him in pro. However, anyone get the boxing license, you can. But I can. You've got your medical checks. I do think though because he's me, he was trained by Milton Supreme, which I think now is trained train him and Logan are trained by Shannon Briggs, which is like, he's on here as well, by the way. But it's just so bizarre. But I feel like seeing him actually fight, like he can throw hands. He's got no combinations and. I'm saying pro as well because in the last he, since the last fight he's been training all year. He's been training for about two years boxing, so I would say he's up to that standard. And yeah, don't get me wrong, I don't want to just throw anyone in that category because it's very you know it's, it's hard. It's easy to just say anyone's a pro fighter, but I would say Jake Paul is a pro fighter. We're gonna go for Joe Weller here, taking it back. All right, to who started this with Theo Baker, and obviously he had to okay, KSI, which he lost in round three. Look at his. I'm sorry, Joe. I've done you. Dirt. I've done you so dirty here, man. I got the picture. Oh, where's he gone? I got a picture where he's bruised. Oh man, but I would say amateur. I, I genuinely think if he keeps doing it, because I feel like he's better than Alex Wasabi. He's better than Jay Swingler, debatably. But he can. I would really want to see Deji and Joe Weller. That would be a good fight. Am I, am I not wrong? Am I right? I'm right. Like I just feel like KSI was just just more of a complete better boxer and strength than him. But. He's got a physique, he's got the, if he can work on things, he can be a good fighter. Now, now we've got Momo Thief HD. I mean, as you can see here, in the f first fight or the last fight, he was doing the, fl the floss, the f yeah, yeah, I can't, he was doing the floss dance. And d does he even deserve to be in Just Know with Jeff? Like, can he just be off the screen? We're gonna have to put him in Just Know, but that is tragic. Like, it's embarrassing. That's probably why all these boxing, you know, fanatics, even myself, like, they, I'm sort of not liking this because of people like him. I right, no offense to him, but great guy probably. He's funny. Yeah, I used to make decent FIFA videos back in the day, but according to boxing, that's a no no from me. Next we have Soldier Boy Drake or Jake. You'll be saying. Now it's like with this, it's like he's not got the shape. He's skinny. He's light. If, if he uh, is to fight Jake Paul. I think he's gonna catch some smoke from Jake Paul. I'm gonna say this, and you know, I'm not the biggest Jake Paul fan, but I feel like he will get some smoke from Jake Paul because he just ain't that sort of guy. I mean, he smokes a lot. His lungs are probably like just just ruined, quite frankly. I don't think he trains or takes it as seriously as everyone else does. I think he's just in it for the clout and just being like, oh, jumping on the Jake Paul Logan wagon. But I don't think he's 
I don't think you should just, just no, I think you should just stop. Yeah, stop what you're doing. Go back to music. As you know, don't even do that because you've been relevant for like 100 years. Next, we've got PewDiePie. I mean, to kind of be honest, like, I, there was, I had to get 20 and he was like my 20th one. So for that reason, that reason only, we're putting him in God. All right, because no matter what category it is, yeah, like YouTuber, boxing, like cooking, he's always going to be a god. All right, so you're going to put him there. And take that lightheartedly, by the way. I don't actually mean that, because realistically, he would not even be on here because he hasn't even had a fight ever, probably. That'd be interesting. Shannon Briggs now. Now, like, although we criticise him, although he is annoying as fuck. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. You've heard it a hundred million times. This favourite word. And he's fell off, like I said, like no one's heard of him for the last five years. However, in his prime, I mean, he's got the most heavyweight knockouts, but then he can just be set up, you know, with the easy fighters like you see in boxing all the time. But I'm gonna say, just because I don't want to say he's, ah, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put God. And the only reason why I'm saying that, I'm not saying at all he's on Muhammad Ali's level or you know Rocky Marciano or any of these big people. I don't think, I think even Anthony Joshua would want me to beat him to an as well, like, I just feel like I can't put him in the same as a Nissan gear by Jake Paul, I'm sorry, like, I just can't, like, he's had that experience for years. Next we're going to go on to Vidal Riley. Now with Vidal, 100% I'm going to put pro, because he's a pro fighter, and he is, he's new in the game, getting trained by Jeff Mayweather and the Mayweathers. I do feel like he can potentially be a god, like, he can be a heavyweight... He wants to be a heavyweight fighter and compete against Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz, all these people, Wilder. And he's got the punching power, he's got the physique, he's got the movement, he's got the footwork. He's got pretty much everything to be and become. And we've seen from him, he's had about three pro, pro, pro fights. I think he's won all three by, you know, by some sort of knockout. But yeah, for that reason, we're putting him pro. For anyone who doesn't know Vidal Riley, he's KSI's trainer. And also, he competed in 20, what was it, 2012? Some sort of, uh, whenever the Olympics were, I think maybe 2012 Olympics, and he got silver, I think. Next, we have Faze Sensei. Now, I feel like I'm going to put him pro, because he's had pro, f oh, but I'm going to put him pro. Although he's an MMA fighter, how he was in a boxing match last time, was was deadly. You saw him get the liver shots. He's what he was only the he was one fight. He was the one fighter or second fight on the night that actually knocked out somebody. Like as in like the countdown. That's it. And then GG because he's got that power. He knows how to punch. Even though he's obviously he's primarily his bread and butter is you know then roundhouse kicks and everything and you know but an MMA. I feel like he he's still a pro in the fighting aspect, I would say. If there was a category in between these two, I'd put him there, but I would say he can punch better than like Deji, for example. Fuzzy Tube. Just stop. I want to say just no, because the thing is, as much as we meme him and stuff, because it's just Fuzzy Tube, let's be honest. He, like, everyone has to start somewhere. I mean, he's, he's trash at the moment. We saw his fight with Alex Starby. I mean, was it even a fight at the other point? He was fighting a kid, but anyway. We have Raka Raka now. Alright, I, I forgot which one it is like which which one is it? I can't remember which one it is from Raka Raka because they they're twins. So how do I actually know physically? But I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna put him as. I wish there was a category in between. Nah. Nah, I'm gonna put him as. I'm gonna put him as just stop. I think he should do what he's doing because he's doing amazing right now on YouTube and just he's having Patreon thing and doing the skits and everything and movie like stuff. But he's, I'm gonna say, he's a very high just start with that makes sense. Like, he's better than all these four, I feel like. Because he fought Scares, which is like, easy opponent. But he showed it, he, he gave him a good weapon. He was literally all round, whatever, six rounds, however many rounds it was, he was giving him a bollocking. And he's got the energy, he's got the punching power. He's got a sort of a physique, but for that reason, I'll put, I'll put my heart very high. I wish that I could put him in the middle, but I unfortunately can't. Very high, just stop. Now, next we've got Dillian Danis, or Dylan, da I think it's D Dylan, Dylan Danis, I'm not sure. Now, he is, what I do know about him, he is Conor McGregor's best friend that wants to fight Jake Paul. And he's a professional, M I think he's MMA fighter, or is it is it kickboxing? Either way, I think he's a M professional MMA fighter. He's just friends with him, so he's got that clout and he can sort of fight. I'm gonna, if he fought Jake Paul, I'm not, I'm not, I think he's gonna beat Jake Paul, like, like as much as you can get really good, 
from being a YouTuber in a couple of years, like KSI and Logan, have, as, and all these YouTubers have shown that experience from years and years of fighting, he's probably fought as he was a kid, probably. You can't compete with that. So I'm going to put him as pro, just for that reason. Next, we've got me, all right, before the two main event cards, all right, we've got me. Alright, and pure. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put myself God. I'm just just putting it out. I'm sorry. Like, well, what more do you want? It's it's me. I um, also take that. Take that light heart and leave. By the way, like, come on. But PewDiePie, me. Like, I had to fill them up. I'm sorry. I needed. I wanted twenty. Next, we've got KSI and Logan Paul. I think I'm gonna do. Log. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm gonna talk about both of them. Alright. So here's the deal. Everyone knows my opinion on the KSI and Logan fight. The the fight's gonna be. Very, very interesting. They both got their strengths. KSI's got that fitness. Logan's also actually going to get that fitness because he's probably going to be working on that. KSI's got the pure strength, the punching power, good at movement. But Logan's got that reach. He's got that jab. It's quick. He's in, in like they're both in shape though. They both weigh about the same amount. Logan's a bit taller as well, slightly taller. I'm gonna. I would say I can't put them in different categories. That would be completely unfair. I would put JJ. KSI, your boy from the UK, in pro, and also Logan Paul in pro. I have to because it's like, you can't really put, they're not that far separated. I mean, they got a draw. Like, if it was clearly separated, then one of them would have won. But maybe this will be different after the fight. We will have to see. But there we go. Thank you for watching my tier list on the YouTuber boxing as it stands in God tier. And like, I'm going to look at the bottom actually. In Just Know, we have got Jeff. From David Domi's vlog, and then Momo HD, Momo FIFA HD. All right, what a name! And there are people that just like, there's no point even talking about them. Like, why are they mentioned on this? Why did I put them on? Just stop. We have Alex Wasabi, Jay Swingler, Soldier Boy, Boozy Tube, and Raka Raka. And they should just stop. All right. I mean, that they had the experience, and you know, it was, it, was a, it was a valiant effort, I would say. But it's just one of those things where just stop. Get back to what you're doing. And you know, just just leave the YouTube boxing scene. Amateur, we have Deji, the tank. All right, we've got JMX and we've got Joe Weller. These are people that they could potentially go pro if they put in the work, but I feel like it's not their main core strength. Their main core strength is YouTube. And not to say that all the others in pro god on, but I feel like they just some people has what it takes or they don't. And I feel like as it currently stands, and based on their fights alone. The amateur, so they have a very lot. They can fight very good amateur fights. They know what they're doing, but I feel like they just don't have the experience or they don't have that work ethic as much as like the top top people on YouTubers are doing it properly, you know. And they, also, they're not even trained. Like Joe Will is not gonna be fighting. Deji's not fighting. Joe Max he's just keeping in shape. He's not fighting. And then we got Pro. We got a Nissan Gib, Big Gibbo, Jake Paul, Adal Riley, Faye Sensei. We got Dillian Danis, KSI, and Logan Paul. All in the pro category, they can be, they can be, and are all of wait, are all of them? They're all of them. Like I think, apart from Ernie Sanger, which is basically in turn pro, they're all pro fighters, professional fighters that can, they won't look off like Eddie Hearn said on a professional fight on an undercard. You know, like maybe the first few fights they were in there would not look odd at all. They're professional fighters that can fight, that work hell hell hard to get their physique, their strength and conditioning, their boxing knowledge, their skills. And of course we got God, we got PewDiePie, 100 mil, he's just, he's just a god in anything. Like he's basically, he's a god, all right. We've got Shannon the Cannon Briggs, let's go champ. And then we've got myself, of course, I'm like, I'm leagues above everyone. I think personally I should be somewhere up here. That's what I thought for the tier list. Let me know where you put these, link in the description. You can rearrange this. Tweet me at Nzingi. Also follow my social media while you're there. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe down below, turn on that post notification bell, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Now your vids hold no weight, like Titanic channel sinking to the ground. Talking your piece on the web, karma always come around. Eating up these W's, can't you see I have the crown? Feasting on you enemies, dead and buried in the ground. Digging your own hole in the soil of what I found. Your shit inconsistent, I don't really fuck around. Some respect on my name, you playing with the hounds I've been waiting, I've been saving all these bullets, all these rounds And I wonder why this hate, all this hate don't come around I'm the king to the front of this shit, wearing the crown Flooding all you haters, you ain't shit, now you left to drown